Hello, my dears, it's Ashling Mooney. And I am in here today to talk to you for the very first time publicly about a visitation I had. And this is about two years ago now, um, the 2nd of April, 2016. And I'm just going to talk you through that visitation. And it might be useful um, for you, wherever you are in your life, in particular, if you're responding on a soul level to this calling from Divine Mother, Divine Feminine. So I woke on that night, 2nd of April 2016, from a, a, a horrible dream. And in the dream, there was a child trying to follow and save her mother as she disappeared into the slush in a sort of a drain. There are kittens, all sorts of all sorts of stuff going down this drain pipe. And it was quite a disturbing dream. And the voiceover was there's a lot of female going into the food chain and it's all getting mixed up. There's a sense that we don't know what we're eating, and this is soul nourishment. Is it animals? Is it kittens? Is it human? It's all mixed up and it all feels wrong. And at that point, I woke up. So it was a very disturbing um, dream. It left me very uneasy. I was sitting up. I was uh, awake. I was alone in my bedroom. My husband was away working that evening. So I was just in bed. And then suddenly, I felt this presence at the end of my bed. I work with angels in all of my work over the last 10 years, 15 years. So I immediately called in Archangel Michael. Um, I called in Archangel Metatron, who I work with. I called, I said, the Our Father, dear. I said um, all sorts of prayers. I felt this presence at the end of my bed. I've had visitations before, so it's not something that's new to me, but they wouldn't be all the time. They would be at different points in my life. Um, but every single night before I go to sleep, I call in my angels. I call in protection. Um, around my family and myself and my home and I ask that we sleep peacefully and I ask that nothing comes near us in that um, beautiful space that you know that could harm us in any way so when I woke and felt this presence that was unknown to me it wasn't angelic it wasn't um, I didn't know what it was it wasn't a loved one so I became scared and immediately called on my angels sort this out I was still in the bed and Archangel Michael in my ear just said, get up. So I began, I set up, I began to do the, I have this mantra called Yahafiz, which is an energy clearer. So I began to clear the energy in the room. I called in every saint, angel, being that I knew to clear and make sure that I was safe and protected. And then I slowly became aware of this hooded figure at the end of my bed. I got out of bed. And I stood facing this figure um, and, you know, called in all, I'm, I'm reading from my notes here from that day, just so don't miss anything. But I asked this figure, what's, what's your name? Who is this? What's, what's the message here? Who is this? And the, uh, this being told me her name, it was a female energy, it was wise woman. And this is the dialogue. So I said to her, why are you here? And she said, you called me here. So I said to her, what would you have me do? At this stage, I was curious. The fear was leaving me. And she said, it's perfect timing. You are poised and ready for this. You are needed right now. Time is running out. It's the critical point. You have both called and been called. I began to see in my mind this uh, program or this uh, idea emerging around Divine Feminine. But I was confused because there's a lot of information out there already and I'm not an expert in this field. I'm an expert uh, in different fields. I work with light off workers all over the world, helping them to create a spiritual business that's sustainable, fulfilling and profitable. So I couldn't figure out where this divine feminine energy was coming in and, and, and what I would have to contribute to that conversation. 
you know, there was plenty of experts out there that, are, that are, were already able to speak on a much more articulate level than I was. So I said to her, what's the difference between this and, and uh, female divine feminine power and all of this that's already there? And she said, that's, this is not about empowerment this energy this thing that she was calling me to do and us to do not just me she said there was many many women being called right now on the planet so she said it's not about empowerment it's about connection it's about divine connection with the source actually with the earth with the soil and the soul the earth connection so at that stage she became much clearer to me um, with the hood where it was covering, it was all dark. I suddenly could actually see her face, and, and it was a strange. Um, she wasn't um, like it, it wasn't. She wasn't human. That wasn't the image that she was giving. Um, her eyes were sort of light brown, but like a cat or an animal, and her 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 body, her her the texture of her skin or the color was green and red and it represented deep connection with the earth. Like she felt like she was earth, it felt like she was from the earth. And there was just a light brown and a, a, a dot for her pupil. And um, she showed me this to show me the difference that she was made of earth. These are my notes, I'm just reading this again. It was a very powerful experience. So she said, this is about connection. Divine connection with the earth, the real mother. She is crying out to her children, and the only way to restore humanity and equilibrium in this planet is through woman. There is actually no other way. Woman must stand up again. She has remained silent and small too long. There is a place for man, and there is a place for woman. She must emerge as a strong force in the world and needs vessels and energy points all over the world to make this happen. This is what I am speaking about now. Women are hearing this call all over the world right now tonight. So that was in April, 2016. And she told me after that, that this is about a three year portal of maximum energy pouring into this planet. Um, for this revolution to happen, this rising to really happen. But she said, women are hearing this call all over the world right now, tonight. Those that can do something are ready and waiting and just need to hear the words. They need to hear you roar. And when I say me roar, but also you in your own environment, your own community, it's time for us to roar. And she said, I am wise woman. I am every woman who desires to be fearless. I am Kali, I am Durga, I am earth, soul and mother, I am Lakshmi, I am Sarasvati, I am mother, I am goddess, I am wise woman. I will guide you, but you must listen to me and you must do as I say. The world depends on it. Ancient ones are waiting to help you in this. You will never be alone on this journey. This is a call to women everywhere to stand up and be heard, to make a stand for mother, to speak mother's voice and mother's words. This is not a child speaking for mother, like save my mother earth from destruction. This is the mother's voice, the mother's wisdom that can only be accessed, accessed through honesty and openness and a desire that quickens the heart. You can do anything that's your life path and still be a voice for mother. The voice of mother, she will use you to speak. She will speak through you. She is looking for vessels. Will you be one of them? I was scared at this point. You know, this was a big ask for me. I had my life plan. I had my programs. I had my, my business. So I said, yes, even though I was scared. And I began to, women that I knew began to pop into my mind and I began to think of people all over the world, my own mentors and people that were in my communities and clients that could become involved in this roar, in this uh, accessing and, and, and 
um, allowing mother to speak through us for women everywhere. So she said, the money for this is for philanthropy. Any profit must go to help women in the world to lift their spirit, to help them connect with mother, their inner fearlessness, courage, roar, leader, mother and nurturer. This is the only thing that will heal the split in the world's psyche. Women can stop the slaughter of the earth, of the mother. It is their divine role and they are waiting for the call. If enough women around the world unite within this flame, it can turn the tide. So literally, we can become like raindrops gathering into a wave, into a rising ocean, into a tsunami of um, divine feminine rising. I said, it seems so huge to me and far reaching and I'm not sure I can do it. She told me to stop being wishy-washy. It's time. It's time. If you miss this moment and don't get involved, it will be more difficult for us all. So we are all called, we are all called to at least accept the mission, even if we don't know how that's, that's going to look like, or even if we don't feel like we have the time or the energy to contribute anything. But just accepting the mission is all that she requires of us at this stage. She says, for now, accept the mission and it will begin to unfold. People will arrive to help you, your angel work, your community, your work with light workers will be the foundation that this can build on. You must keep your energy clear and ready. The time is now. Stand up and let no, no one uh, make you back down. I can't read my own writing. You are a divine goddess. You are a divinity. You must shine it to allow other women to recognize theirs. No more bitchy. Uh, just use your thoughts, actions, and words. Um, and there's nothing after that. I don't know what that says. I said, yes, I accept my mission. I have a lot of questions, fears, doubt, prote pro pro um, and I don't know, you know, if I can do it. Oh, so she said that this would start, the portal would start in September 11 and 22. And 22nd and um, that it would she gave me a lot of personal messages as well around my personal health and well-being at that stage and how that could be improved um, but around the 11th and the 22nd now just about six months after that if we come into the January after that of 2017 about nine months after that um, we had the whole Me Too movement emerged. We had uh, celebrities and, and uh, women standing up for the first time and making allegations about sexual abuse. There was this huge wave of women suddenly standing up and saying Me Too and not standing for it any longer. So that arrived. But there's a portal from around the 11th of September 2016 for three years, 2017, 2018, 2019. So wherever you are listening to this, this doesn't mean that it ends after this, but it just means that we're in an energy portal where we have an opportunity to add our voice to this collective divine feminine energy rising up and um, the mother rising within us and uh, saying enough. So she said, for now rest, everything will unfold easily and naturally. We are in agreement. If you've said yes, you're in agreement. Do these few small things to prepare yourself and I'll come again to speak to you when the time is right. For now, rest. So when I got this vision and this uh, visitation from wise woman, she said that there were beings awakening on the planet in service to this mission and that all we needed to do was um, invite them. All we needed to do was, was say yes to the mission and that these beings, these energetic and spiritual beings would um, rush to our presence. And they were huge beings, rock-like beings, like literally beings that had stayed hidden for centuries 
in the rocks and the lava and the in the water and that just by my my and you know she was calling women all over the world but as we gave this resounding yes that we were in even if we didn't know what we were in for these beings began to rise out of our oceans and our rivers and our mountains and our the, the earth literally the earth and um are there coming to your side to help you in in whatever way you need uh, the spiritual help for the from divine mother in your particular communities so i hope that this is uh, useful to you in some way um, my sharing is useful to you in some way it hasn't been an easy thing for me to share it's been uh, i've kept it for myself for a couple of years and only shared it with very few close friends and family but I'm sharing it now it's public and I hope that it can be of use to somebody out there so I'm embarking on some divine feminine rising work myself I'm offering a retreat this year um, in November and I have a feeling that I will be called to do more work in that area with women but I'm allowing that to unfold for now I've just said yes um, I'd love if this resonates, just come back to me, send me a text, email. Uh, you can write to admin, A-D-M-I-N at ashlingmooney.com, A-I-S-H-L-I-N-G-M-O-O-N-E-Y.com. You can email me, you can find me on Facebook, Ashling Mooney Coach. Um, and just let me know, is this resonating? Uh, you know what you think about it have you had your own visitation have you had your own calling because since I've had that calling I've seen other uh, spiritual teachers and leaders and coaches out there coming out with their own stories of a type of visitation or a calling that they received around the same time or in these few years in these couple of years and, and now and now it's, I know it's, it's becoming really really powerful here it's becoming so powerful it's hard to ignore actually now so I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So please send me an email, text, and we can just start a conversation on this. Um, and if you want to know more about my work, you can go to ashlingmooney.com, www.ashlingmooney.com, A-I-S-H-L-I-N-G. And I will see you uh, there. So thank you for listening. And please share this with anyone that you think might be useful for today.